Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to the channel. Meta has recently released some quantized version of their popular Llama models. We already have a lot of quantized versions available, but this quantization is formal from Meta and it is more geared towards the mobile devices. One of the salient features of this quantization is the method of quantization they have used. That method is spin quant. In this video, I'm going to explain in as simple words as possible as what exactly this spin quant is and why Meta has opted for it. I'm not going to use any deep or very complex jargon of machine learning or AI. I will keep it as simple as possible. So let's get right into it. First, let's try to understand what exactly is quantization. Quantization reduces the precision in an AI model or in other words, AI model is composed of weights and activations and it is a neural network. Quantization reduces the precision of these weights in order to save memory and lower the latency. Quantization is a technique that is used to reduce the memory usage, latency and power consumption of LLMs. It involves converting the weights and activations of a model from high precision floating point numbers such as 32 bit to lower precision integers such as 4 bit or 8 bit and even less. This compression reduces the model size and improves its efficiency but can lead to a loss of accuracy due to quantization errors. If you want to run a model on your mobile device, even a regular 1 billion model will be huge. So that is why it is imperative to convert that model into a quantized format by reducing the precision of model. One significant challenge in quantization is dealing with outliers in the weight and activation distributions. Now, what are weights and activations in a model? An AI model or LLM or even a vision model is composed of nodes or neurons. Weights are the connection strength between these neurons, neurons to determine how much influence one neuron or node has on another. Think of these weights as knobs that adjust the importance of each input, allowing the model to learn patterns and relationships in the data such as sky is blue. So this is quite a, the weight is quite strong because there is a relationship. If we say sky barks, then there is a very, very weak signal between these two because they are not related. So weight will be less. So that is how by adjusting these knobs, model is able to determine the relationship between these neurons or nodes, or in other words, words. Activations are the output of these neurons in a network, representing the processed information passed from one layer to the next. So once we have determined that sky is blue, that gets activated and passed on to the next layer for more processing. So you can think of activation as the decision made by each node based on the inputs and weights, which ultimately contribute to models prediction or classification. So one significant challenge in quantization is dealing with outliers in weight and activation distributions. Outliers primarily just stretch the quantization range, leaving fewer effective bits available for majority of values. That is how there is a lot of accuracy loss when we do the quantization. That is where spin quant enters into the fold. Now, Spin quant is a new approach that addresses the outlier issue by incorporating learned rotation matrices into the quantization process. The key idea is to rotate the weight or activation matrix to remove outlier and make the distribution more quantization friendly. That is how it works. Spin quant uses rotation parameterization that lead to identical outputs in full precision transformer architectures while enhancing quantization accuracy. There are three steps to it. First, there is random rotation. Applying random rotation to weight or activation matrix can remove outlier and improve quantization. 
but the performance of the quantization network can vary significantly with different rotation matrices. That is where learned rotation comes. So spin quant optimizes the rotation matrix to minimize the final loss of quantization network using a technique which is called a scale SGD, which you don't have to worry about. This optimization refines the intermediate activation and weight without altering the full precision network output. And that is the key here. SpinQuant introduces two rotation strategies. One is called as SpinQuant no and the other one is called, called as SpinQuant head. The former, the SpinQuant no, uses shortcut rotation and something called as WVWO pair rotation, while the later does online head and head rotation matrix to address activation out layer. So in other words, these are simply just rotation strategies, the way they rotate, the weight set, activations and the benefits are quite good that it offers us more improved quantization accuracy because spin quant narrows the accuracy gap between quantized and full precision models and then spin quant also outperforms the concurrent work such as core rot and state-of-the-art weight only quantization method which we, i already have covered on the channel Plus, it could be quite flexible because it can be applied to various models and quantization techniques such as Meta has applied it to their latest LAMA 1 billion and I guess 3 billion models. If you go through this paper, they also have evaluated this spin quant on 7 leading LLMs including LAMA 2 and Mistral and the results have shown a lot of performance in quantization accuracy with spin quant reducing the gap to full precision by up to 45%. So all in all, in spin quant is a good quantization approach that leverages learned rotations to mitigate outliers and improve the performance of quantized LLMs. And there are a lot of benchmark information which they also have shared. Now, there is another technique which is called as QAT, which is better than spin quant, but this method which um, which Lama has selected is because it is portable and it can operate without requiring access to training data set which are often private and that is why it is so attractive for Meta because uh, it has the data availability is there, computational resources are not that high and developers can use this method to take their fine-tuned Lama models and quantize them for different hardware targets and use cases for example this uh, newly quantized Lama models they have been quantized with spin quant and you can run them on various devices and they are primarily geared towards ARM architecture. At the moment, running them and testing them out with, uh, I think you can use Llama Stack and Axio Torch and that is pain in the back. So, a lot of issues there. I think that's terminally a lot of bugs. I have tried it out, but still it is failing on various uh, level so as it matures i think this should be a good way to quantize the model especially towards the mobile devices anyway i hope that you now understand this spin coin a bit more if you still have any questions let me know i'll be happy to answer also i wanted to introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. AgentQL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and I will drop the link to their website in video description. That's it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.